of this historic liftoff of the first mission to Mars. Mission Control, this is the firing line. Give us the go, no, go for launch. Eagle, go, 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 go,
welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, the exploration of deep space. I know you're probably feeling a little bit nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Even the heroes went to the moon. But there is one thing that they have that you don't have. Training. Right now, at NASA and ISTC facilities around the world, future astronauts are learning how to live and work in space. But you're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to our space crew. The X-2 Deep Space Shuttle is powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you definitely want to hang up. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. And the success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your cat count, and in a few minutes I'll give all of you specific assignments. But first our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your orange team more intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside X-2 flight trainers that produce deep space flying conditions such as turbulence and G-forces. Those who are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators or spinning should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. It is intense. And if you would like to opt out, you can sign up for mission control training in the advanced training lab. Just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for directions. teams have already established your landing site here at North Polar Cap. Your mission is to get to that site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot assist, your trip will take three months, so we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when you get to Mars. T-minus three minutes and counting. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket and also deploy the shields. Commander, you'll be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for land. Engineer, when it's bedtime, you'll activate hypersleep. You'll also extend wings for land. Don't worry, when it's time to push the buttons, they'll light up and I'll give you the go. One last thing, in the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks in every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant, any final instructions for the new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew positions in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest, keep your eyes open at all times, and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. Attention trainees. 
Follow the models on the floor to your X2 trainer and begin boarding now. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Just concentrate on your assignment, first stage step, and manual control. Engineer, just a reminder, you'll activate hypersleep and extend the wings. The launch team is ready to proceed at this time. Copy. Two waiting grip up for a million rounds. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Now. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Confirmed. 
to call the mission space race. We are facing in here from our space. The finish line is the space station for the Earth. The first thing you reach the space station is... Team 7, you are to want to be piloting the silver ship. Feel free to express your team spirit. Team Orion, your astronauts will be piloting the gold ship. You probably feel compelled to let Team Dragon be all team spirit. Attention trainees, if you are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniform crew member for directions. Selected to train for an elite mission, the first mission to Mars. Robotic teams have already established your landing site.
Congratulations, team. You've been selected to train for an elite mission, the first mission to Mars. Robotic teams have already established your landing site here at the North Polar Cap. Your mission is to get to that site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot assist, your trip will take three months, so we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Don't worry, it'll it. only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when you get to Mars. T-minus three minutes and counting. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket and also deploy the shields. Commander, you'll be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for landing. Engineer, Engineer you're the engineer. time, you'll activate hypersleep. You'll also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, they'll light up, and then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks in every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for the new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew positions in the cockpit and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest, keep your eyes open at all times, and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. All right. Attention trainees, follow the markings on the floor to your extra train and begin boarding now. Store personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down on the restraints.
station now. How was that? Oh my goodness. Mission complete, honey. International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, space travel. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another, even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet, training. You're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft, the X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator pilot, commander, or engineer. 
The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes I'll give you your specific assignments. But first our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your Green Team Less Intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside X2 flight simulators that produce sensations of acceleration. Those who are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. If you would like to opt out, just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, Report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a spectacular mission around the Earth. Your flight path will take you west across North America, Asia, Europe, and back home to Florida. You're going to love it. T minus three minutes and count. Okay, listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll be adjusting the pitch of the X2 if necessary and firing thrusters for your descent. Pilot, on my signal. I'll need you to trigger first stage separation. You'll also be triggering the landing sequence. Commander, you will be responsible for activating the flight sequence and for activating manual control, if needed. Engineer, you will activate the flight cameras when we reach altitude. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry, when it's time to push the buttons, they will light up, then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Young cadets wearing a lanyard will need a special X2 booster to train for this mission. When you enter the capsule, insert the booster as shown. Once you have secured all cargo, help your young cadets lower their restraints. Then take your seat, reach up, and pull down your restraint. After you have completed your mission, remove your X2 booster and place it in the recovery bin on your way out. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Earth Team. You are on the clock. Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer and begin boarding now. Good luck, team. All of us here at Mission Control wish you a safe journey around the planet.
Bienvenue à l'International Space Training Center. Veuillez accéder à la Ready Room. Pour une... oh, Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, space exploration. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet. Training. You're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft, the X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes, I'll give you your specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your orange team more intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside X-2 flight simulators that produce deep space flying conditions such as turbulence and G-forces. Those who are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. It is intense, and if you would like to opt out, just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Attention astronaut candidates. You have selected Orange Team More Intense Training. If you are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed yeah. dark spaces, yeah. simulators, or yeah. spin, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for directions to the Green Team Less Intense Training Area. <laughs> Attention astronaut candidates, you have selected Orange Team More Intense Training. If you are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniform crew member for directions to the Green Team Less Intense Training Area. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a mission to Mars. Teams are awaiting your arrival at the landing site here at Ballas Marineris. Your mission is to get to that landing site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot, your trip will take three months. So we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Hypersleep activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when we get to Mars. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket. You'll also deploy the shields. Commander, you will be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for landing. Engineer, when it's bedtime, you will activate hypersleep. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry, when it's time to push the buttons, they will light up, then I'll give you the go. One last thing, 
In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. We're going to have to pull those. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest, keep your eyes open at all times, and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. What? <laughs> well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. That's
for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, space travel. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every hour... Rows 8 and 3. Okay. One last thing. In the event of... Follow the markings on the floor to your capsule, then move all the way across. Once you have secured all cargo, help your young cadets lower their restraints. Then take your seat, reach up, and pull down your restraint. After you have completed your mission, remove your X2 booster and place it in the recovery bin on your way out. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Earth Team. You are on the clock. Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer and begin boarding now. Hello. 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 